bill on Utah's Capitol Hill is asking drivers of electric cars to pay their fair share. Fox 13's John Franke breaks down the numbers for those drivers and explains why lawmakers on both sides of the aisle say it's necessary. The landscape on Utah roads is changing. The gas tax pays for road maintenance and repairs, but as more and more people switch to electric cars, that pot of money is shrinking. This bill uh, speaks to our long-term need to maintain sufficient funding uh, for road maintenance, which for many years we have relied on the gas tax for that. State Representative Raymond Ward of Bountiful is proposing House Bill 186. It's an effort to get drivers of alternative fuel vehicles to contribute to road maintenance without creating disincentives to buy an EV. We need some way that those vehicles eventually pay their fair share, but we also want to acknowledge that those vehicles have very important benefits to our air quality here. Here's how the road usage plan works. Starting next year, owners of electric cars would pay one penny for every mile they drive. Their fee would be capped at $130.25. In 2026, the rate would increase to 1.25 cents per mile, with the yearly cap at $180. Then in 2032, it goes up to 1.5 cents per mile, with the annual max increasing to $240. That means next year, a person who drives 10,000 miles would pay a usage fee of $100. Someone who drives 20,000 miles would pay no more than the yearly max of 130.25. The bill has support from both the Utah Taxpayers Association and Utah Clean Energy. This is an acceptable way forward that balances the need to ensure that uh, we're not disincentivizing electric vehicles, which we support, um, at the same time letting, letting pe making people aware of the um, option to participate in the road usage charge program. The bill passed unanimously out of committee and now heads to the Senate. In Salt Lake City, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.